known as a gunslinger, and sometimes that's not a great thing. Here's the handoff to Rajon Neal, number 20. And Michael Rivera, the tight end. And Justin Hunter, wonderfully gifted receiver who spent most of last season out with a torn ACL in this pass. Not out of a bust with the offensive line. 30-12. Four-man rush. <laughs> I can only say how about him. 656. <laughs> Man. Those look like arena ball numbers. Yeah, exactly. It was fraught with meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Second down four. Toss for Daryl Patterson. Spent last year at Hutchinson and Damian Swan. It's first down and ten. Tennessee. They give it off to Rajon Neal. Caught behind the line. For Tennessee, minus 23 yards. Now, yes, sacks involved, but that's part of the story why they have to run the ball. Here's Marlon Lane, number 15, testing the middle. And that... Uh... Georgia stunts. Left side. Caught. Oh, my. Zach Rogers, number 83. I mean, he is a great downfield throw. Play action. Slings it left side. That appears to be caught by Rajon Neal. Guns it without taking a step. Neal looks for help. Fights for a yard. Todd Grantham, defensive coordinator. Second down and nine. Stone. Long snap, left-handed. He is a lefty by nature, but... Down that you have to move the chains on. You don't think touchdowns in this league. Just move the chains. Wild card now. And Pig Howard, number two, is in the backfield, and they were ready for it. Yeah, they look like that defense for Tennessee is ready for this Georgia offense. There's not a lot of defenses that might be ready for this Georgia offense. Up the middle. That's right. In command, Tyler Bray. And the Tennessee Volunteers have a first down. And off stiff arm Neal. And he's bumped down. All the plays, and they all look good. He trusts his quarterback. He trusts his running backs. He trusts his offensive line. Everything he looks at says it'll work. Here's the pass complete on the right side. That's to Vince Murray. You know, kind of had to follow in the footsteps of it. Matt Stafford had kind of left. Took him a couple years to get going, but now he's a trusted veteran. It's the fun of kind of following this cop. It might have been intercepted. That's the fine line that Tyler Bray's handling. There's the audible in the second down and four. And off to Marlon Lane, who's hit behind the line. Load him up on the left side. Bray looking left. Nobody open. It's tipped. And it what is intercepted. Play. Wow. They Reputation, Vern. Watch this. Here's Jarvis Jones, the All-American right here. Because he's such a good pass rusher, Tennessee leaves their tight end in. And the linebacker who's going to cover him ends up freeing out. This is what the reputation of Jones as a pass blocker is. Leave your tight end in. The guy who is going to cover him says, I'll just drift over to here. Look at that. That's the guy that ends up making the play on the interception. Unintended consequences. You leave a guy in, a good defense will react and make you pay for it. I didn't have that, but I know a Division Three team that does. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it will get mentioned. Rajon Neal, number two. An outfit that featured one orange pant leg and one red. Up the middle, Rajon Neal. I don't like announcers to say, I don't want to mad at me. And? He didn't have anything. Got Bray him, got him, got him. Got him. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, wow. Junior college transfer who played his high school football in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and this one's overthrown. Pretty good idea, though. Not where he was before he hurt his knee, but he's good enough to catch some balls. They need to go to Hunter. Play action, Bray. Deep right oh, side. Oh, he misread it. Yes, indeed. And it's up for grabs and incomplete. It won't go defensive. Yep. Second and ten. This is Devin Young, number 19. That all five of their offensive linemen will play in the NFL. Mm. 
A little hurdle at the 30-yard line. The he and Zach Rogers, the slot and the tight end, could give these Georgia linebackers a little problem. Here's Zach Rogers immediately hit, but it wasn't Rogers. No. It was the slot receiver. Third and four. Nice. That's Zach Rogers, nice and that's read. a first down. Yes, indeed. Ray pumps, goes deep, and receiver slips. Yep. It plays, but basically throws the ball. Georgia looks like they bring the edge. And Rajon Neal goes up the middle. Uh, on shotgun plays, he snaps it left-handed. Bray, nice, beautiful play. And Bray is split out wide to the right. It's the Wildcat offense, essentially. Here's Johnson. Yep. I think he got yes, in. He Let's see. Yes, touchdown. Yep. Power off tackle. Get the extra man because your quarterback is willing to run the ball. They tried it before with Pig Howard, number two. This time they went more with the beast look, and it worked. Johnson's fourth carry for the season. Trying to get it right on him, but I top of the screen. Give it off up the middle. Devon Young. Versus the smallest defender on the field for Georgia. Inside technique. It's going to be a blitz. And Rajon Neal stutter step. Drives. It's going to be third and goal. By 10. Four-man rush. Bray across the middle. Caught. Zach Rogers. Touchdown, Tennessee. In Ogletree, Bray looks across and says, where's my best matchup? I've got man-to-man -man inside right here. Tennessee put their tight end in the slot. That's what forced the inside matchup. Stutter and go. Perfectly run inside and a great throw. Watch, watch the stutter and go. Gets across the linebacker's face. It's a touchdown as soon as he crossed. Back it was 27-10, and Patterson dropped a pass that went right through his hands. Now Bray hands it off. This is Rajon Neal. Now Justin Hunter is out to the right side, and Sanders Cummings is guarding him, not Brendan Smith. Little inside shovel pass, oh, Rajon Neal. Face mask. Yes, indeed. First and 10 with 58, 57 seconds to go. Play action, Gray, a lot of time, but good downfield live coverage. It, throw it, live another Rose day. Live another. Another. Gray into the flat. Neal down the sidelines. Did he get in? Yes, he did. At one time, it was 27-10. Vern, uh, Georgia's playing three on two. Here's the second guy. Here's the first guy. Watch halfway through what happens with Georgia on the play. Stop it right about there. Three guys cover one guy, one guy, nobody on the other. Throw the ball outside, easy. That's a bust. I think they need to start throwing a little bit more against this Tennessee secondary. That really is the weakest part of their secondary, of their defense. They give up the middle, and it's good for a gain of a couple. Second down, eight. Gray, blitz coming. He fires it right side. It's complete to Justin Hunter. And down pass that looked like the, the, the turning point, and then the fast finish. Here's the reverse. Patterson coming left. And met and driven. In and eight. And off lane, nothing. University of Georgia, where he has been a stellar competitor. Third and eight, tie game. Gray back. Oh, he's got uh, some zip, behind doesn't he? Him, threw it behind him. Shouldn't it be five yards further on out of bounds instead of five yards left? I think I missed uh, Somehow I missed I that. Did, I there. did, too, in our conversation. Oh, oh he stuck it in there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. It's only a 10-yard penalty, yeah, basically, yeah. From, a from a touchback to the 35. That's something they might want to look at. Up the middle. Deep Georgia lineage. Play action. Look at Bray. Now he's got to get rid of oh. it in a hurry. Oh, wow. 
That was Chase Vassar who was coming at Tyler Bray. This one's at the feet. We've got Cummings on Hunter, top of the screen. He's at the top. Third and ten. Rush coming. Bray across the middle. Again. Open plays by his offensive scheme. Here's the handoff to Rajon Neal, number 20, and a fine defensive job. But Aaron Murray's had an A-minus game. Really one mistake. Well, two. So I'm going to give him a B-plus game. And I said that'd be good enough for Murray. Here's Ray John Neal. 15. Gray looking left all the way, and he's got Zach Rogers, number 83, open. Receivers. They don't have Hunter in the game. They need to rest him. It's a long game. They felt they played him too much against Florida. That's growing the program. First down and 10. Reverse. He can throw, but Madison. he's not open. So he's going to have to keep it, and he'll do so. How about this? Patterson to the 10. In for the touchdown. They're going to throw. Yeah, they threw the flag way late, and the referee, I think, did a good job in overruling it. Cut back. Right. Bray gets a block. Patterson cuts back again. And then it's one of those blocks from the blind side. Watch it coming right there. Yes. Boom. That's it's the Martin one Lane, they called. Number yep. 15. That's the one they called late. But head of referee said, no way. That's a touchdown. Picked it up. Down a lot of points. Just put your head down and make first down. Yep. They trailed by 27. Alongside on this play. Yep. Play action. A lot of pressure. Bray gets rid of it. He's got it. it. This is Michael Rivera. Hangs on to the football. Down five yards. 2.07 to go. <laughs> Got to keep scoring in this game, don't you? Shovel pass. Lane. Has done a good job with the pass rush. Lobs it left side. Lane hit immediately. Smith, excuse me. Bray leaves it deep too, in the end zone. Far, yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, remember against Florida, Tennessee fans don't remember, but he had Tyler Bray had a poor fourth quarter when the game when they fell behind Florida, one for eleven. Starting and, out and ten. Sidearms it, knocked down cleanly. On third and ten, watch out. Got him. Beautiful. Yes, he did. Last three plays. Here's the run. And it's Rajon Neal. Western, the two undefeated for the Big Ten. Back to you. Thanks, Tim. Here's Bray again. Across the middle again and incomplete. Here, third and six. Georgia brings it. Oh, and Neal kept his battle. Antonio Richardson. Otherwise, he's out another 15 yards. On first down, here comes the rush. Gray, boy, he's hit as he lets it go. And to get rid of it. It's his strength and his Achilles heel at the same time. Flag is thrown and Lane. After the penalty, second down and five. Nice run. Hard to stop a team when they know on first down they have four downs to pick up a first down. Takes the pass, hands it off to Lane, bounces it to the outside, and gets inside the 20-yard line. And Lane, as Vern mentioned, did a great job. Here's Lane again on second and five. He's going to be a couple of yards short. And a 14-point margin. They're going to run it again, aren't they? Yes, they are. You can tell with the deep tailback. Close. Play of the drive. High formation now. And they come right up the middle. Rajon Neal spins for an extra yard. Tick, tick, ticking away, and they keep moving the ball down the field and run it into the end zone. Neal for the TD. For Tennessee. 106 starts. 
And they've used it, that experience. Good block on the nose that time. Zach Fulton, number 72. Full down all the way, Jawan James. Remember, these guys played as freshmen. Um, was 60 yards in six minutes. That's the formula. They're going to run it. Tailback was deep. Play clock at eight. Option, pitch, <laughs> kneel. And Herrera was not calm out here watching this game. Mm -hmm. First down 15, little screen left side. Great call. Ray John Neal. Great call. Down the side. Oh. So a big number 74, Antonio Richardson out there from the 50. On first down, Bray pumps, goes left side. Oh. Intercepted. Oh, Damian Swan, number five, is coming from a blitz from this side. Bray knows it. He knows he's got bump and run. He's trying to go back shoulder. Gets rid of it, does not throw it well. Intended for Patterson, Cummings there for the pick. Yeah, see, the ball was inside. It needed to be outside. Cummings was trying to see. Fell away. Bray could feel the rush. Fell away from the three game the rest of the way and he's got a slinger back there from the 26 incomplete coverage from four type linebacker speed he can cover all the backs second down and 10 right side Rivera his Georgia team has been able to haunt everyone with the pass rush but not Tennessee tailback. low snap they do get it to Neal yep tailback deep how big a game this is for Tennessee and Derek Dool Bray pressured down the middle oh, oh, he, he had a gone. shot at it left side sliding catch yes snap it if they snap it it's over Again, a little bit of a low snap. Bray steps up. He's got Zach Rogers. That's a second down. Eight. Rush from the outside. Bray finds a receiver. It's Patterson. He's running free at the 30. Down in 15 with 95 seconds remaining. Big cushion down here. Big, big cushion. Blitz. Bray steps up. Got him. Fumble. Fumble. Balls out. Another turn. Jenkins, wasn't it? Jordan yes. Jenkins, number 59, who got his hand on the football. Pretty well blocked. Goes up in the pocket and coughs it up. Well, it's Georgia, Jenkins and Jenkins. Yep, Georgia survives. And you know what we always say about college football? You always got to survive one of these, okay? And is this the game that Georgia survived? John Jenkins. 